All right, guys, start with injuries first. Um, Jordan Reed uh, ended up having a knee sprain. Uh, he'll be out a while. He'll go on short-term IR. Uh, Mosley is in the concussion protocol. McKinnon, rib contusion day-to-day. -day. And Zacha had a quad strain. He'll uh, most likely go in the short-term IR also. And K1 had some hip discomfort. Um, we're looking into it right now. We'll see how he is on Wednesday. Um, as far from the other guys uh, who didn't play, you know, D four, no, no issues. I mean, nothing's changed. I'm dealing with the same stuff there. Um, don't expect to have him this week. Um, Garoppolo, um, same thing. We'll see how he is on Wednesday. Um, Greenlaw, um, quad contusion. Still, don't plan on having him this week. Kittle, we'll see how he is on Wednesday. Mostert and Witherspoon also in the same boat. Go ahead. Kyle, in addition to just you know what happened on the field, what did you guys gain from that week away? What, what, what do you think? Uh, do you feel like it brought your team together? What was some of the benefits of, of being away for that long? Um, yeah, last week, I mean, last year was the first time doing that for me personally and, and for our team since um, we've been here. And I thought it was similar, it was a similar feeling of last year. You know, it's nice to go to a, an away game. Um, when it ends, you go to a hotel and you kind of get to hang out that night instead of everyone leaving a game and going home. Um, spend Monday and Tuesday together and kind of just get to stay in a hotel all week, um, where I think it is good from, for camaraderie. Players get to spend a little more time together, uh, especially with a shorter training camp, not having an off season, um, with the quarantine and everything. Uh, I thought it was even more important for us this year. And um, being at a place like we were at the Greenbrier, that was a, a great spot. Um, I think it made it more fun for the players too, and um, I think it's helped us. Kyle, you've had several players make contributions this year who didn't play or, in Nick, Nick Mullen's case, barely played at all last season. How unusual is that, and what does it say about them to be, to be able to do that, especially with, with the limited offseason, no exhibition games and all that? Um, I mean, it's something that's – I mean, it happens every year in the NFL. And, um, I mean, that's why you, your, your team changes throughout a year. It's, it's never the same at the end of the year as it is at the beginning. It's usually different in the middle. Um, it's a very violent sport, so there's always a lot of turnover. Uh, I do feel like we've had a little more than um, than usual this year, um, but that's also why a lot of those guys like Nick and stuff had had some playing time. They have been in there before. Um, guys like Ross Dwelly who got to play a lot. I mean, that's how I mean School and Brunskill got their starts last year when they I think they had about four games. When we lost our tackles and stuff, and um, that's why Jeff Wilson. It wasn't his first time out there, so uh, I think we, we've been in that situation where guys have gotten some opportunities. We've had some more. I think we had a little bit of better luck last year than the year before, but um, it was good for those guys to get out there again, and I thought for the most part they all played better. Kelly, I know you said short-term IR for, for Jordan Reed. Uh, what was his disappointment level, just kind of given all he's been through to finally be back and then have this? And also, how do you think he would played over the first few weeks? I think he played great. Oh, I was really happy with Jordan. Um, got a little late start with us, and especially in a short off season, eased him in there the first game, but did great in his ten plays that he got. Uh, I thought he was one of the best players on the field in the second game, and um, he was coming out strong in this game. And he was going to be a huge part of that, and had an unfortunate injury, uh, recovered from the ankle there in the end zone, but ended up um, spraining his MCL, I believe, um, when he came back for that catch that he hit, where they got him a little bit low on. But I know he's disappointed, but um, not discouraged. You know, I think he was really liking where he was at. This isn't it's something that's going to take take some time um you know just what they say probably six to eight weeks um which does take some time so i know he's disappointed in that but um nothing that's going to affect him after that he'll, he'll hit his rehab hard and um, hopefully we can weather the storm while he's gone and he'll come um, back to a good team Kyle, is debo samuel gonna uh, be activated for for wednesday's practice and if so what just what is his mood and, and mindset been like during these last few weeks? Uh, yeah, we should get him out there at practice Wednesday. I know he's been chomping at the bit to get back. Um, I know he's really um, made a lot of progress here in these last um, 14 days. Um, so I know he's pumped to practice. I mean, he, um, I know he's pumped to play. Uh, we'll, we'll see how he is. I know he's conditioned right. I know he's healthy. I know he's feeling good. Um, but Wednesday will be his first time in a football practice since um, Super Bowl week of last year. Um, so we got to take that into account also. So we'll see how he goes and how he does in these three days, and then we'll evaluate that at the end of the week. Kyle, in the game, you, you used Brandon Ayuk, very similar to what you've done with Debo Samuel. Did you see that from him? Is that kind of what you pictured doing with him before you drafted him? Um, I mean, I don't think you ever – and you don't – 
take guys just to hand the ball off to them, you know. I mean, the same thing with Debo. Um, but when they are physical runners, when they have the speed to do it, um, and they compete while doing it, um, it's always a good bonus. And Debo, someone who is as good as we've as I've been around at doing that last year. Um, Ayuk showed that a lot in his college tape, whether it was just catching the ball and running after the catch or getting some handoffs. And he's been really good in practice with us so far too. So uh, it's good to have a few guys out there you can choose to do it and do it with. And I think we have more than just those two also. Kyle, Kyle Nelson had, had probably the worst game of his career. Did you get a chance to talk to him? And, and what's the situation with him after, after Sunday? Uh, yeah, I got a, talk, a chance to talk to him a little bit today. I mean, he, I know how down Kyle um, is. I knew, I knew how down he was. And uh, he just came up to me today and just apologized and stuff. And, um, you know, it, it was an unfortunate game for him. Kyle's had an unbelievable career. Uh, he's been a great 49er. He's been a great teammate. I mean, I've, I've loved Kyle in these three years. I've got to know him, and he's been great for us. So um, I know it was a really bad day. Um, I, I just told him that, you know, fortunately it didn't cost us anything. You know, we were able to, um, it wasn't an issue in the game because of how the rest of the game went. We were able to skip to, 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 to still get a W. Um, but he understands this business. He understands, the, um, how the league works and we're going to bring in some guys tomorrow, work them out. We'll, we'll see how they look and then we'll decide what's the best for us going forward. Kyle, a, a day later, going through the game film, looking at what Nick was able to accomplish, how did he do? I mean, to the naked eye, it looked pretty darn good, but how did it, how did it uh, look when you kind of dove into it? Uh, I think pretty much how it looked to you guys. I mean, uh, he was very efficient um, and made all the plays that were there and then made a number of plays that weren't there. Um, extended a few, um, had a few big third downs, um, a few big second alongs. Um, he... Um, kept us on the field for a while and um, played tough and I uh, was very impressed with them. And each time I watch it, I feel stronger about that. Hey, uh, Kyle, my internet connection has been a little spotty, so apologies if you already mentioned him. But um, do you have a, any sort of an update on D Ford? I know last week um, you had indicated he probably wasn't going to play this week. Yeah, no, same same issue. I mean, he's not going to play this week. And, um, you know, we, we should decide in the next few days whether to put him on short-term IR or not. So, But we haven't decided yet. We'll see how that goes here in the next few days. When, when people see a, a lineman like school come in and handle the long snapping, they, they ask, why can't he just do that uh, regularly and, and save a roster spot? Is there a, a big difference uh, in velocity between a – a long snapper and somebody who's doing it in an emergency basis like school? Um, no, I just, you know, I, I know that would help a lot. Um, you know, for one, I mean, he did a great job on a snap. You know, I don't, I, you know, that isn't my area of expertise, but I don't think he's one of the top 32 long snappers in the world, um, which you need to be in order to have that job. And also it's tough um, when your long snapper's there, if he is playing O-line and everything. Um, I mean, O-linemen have a much higher chance of getting hurt and everything, and um, it's tough enough to lose an O-lineman. You don't want to lose an O-lineman and a long snapper. Um, so you try to keep those guys just at those positions because um, it's very hard to function when you do lose those guys. So I would guess that's the reason. Well, uh, two questions. One following up on Ford. Can, do league rules allow you to retroactively put guys on IR if they miss games so they, they only have to miss – you know, one going forward, I guess, if they've already missed two. And the second one was... Sorry, what, what, what was, was the beginning of your question? Because I missed half of that. Are, um, do league rules allow you guys to retroactively put guys on injured reserve? Is that something like, can you, can you put somebody on short term and then only have them miss one week since they already missed two, something like that? No, once you, once you decide, it's three from there. Yeah, okay. so I mean, it wouldn't um, count for D Ford so far. If that's what you're asking. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, my my question was my initial question is uh, what what was Jimmy's capacity last week at, at practice? I mean, he didn't practice obviously, but what was his what was his rehab like? Uh, I think he had a good week. Uh, he wasn't, you know, he didn't have. We thought maybe he had a slight chance at the end of the week to come out there and um, see how we could do it on Friday, and we didn't get to that point. So uh, we'll see how it is this week. I know he's doing a lot better now than he did last week, but I'm still not sure about Wednesday. I know he needs these two days. Um, to keep rehabbing, and I will evaluate it then. Kyle, asking you to, to look ahead while looking back a little bit, the, the last time you played the Eagles uh, in 2017 was 
uh, a rough game, a lot of injuries, not not too dissimilar from that, that Jets game other than the result, of course. Uh, what do you remember about that game, and how much did that game and, and the way you reacted to it maybe kind of shape the way you handle these types of situations you're going through now? Um, that, that was a game I've tried to forget. That was a very miserable game. Uh, we lost a ton of people in there. Um, I think we were having guards play tackle at the end of that game. I know we lost, I think we lost Pierre to IR. Um, I think he broke his neck that game. Um, it, it was a rough game, not a very fun one. Um, I do remember the next morning, I believe, is the day we traded for Jimmy, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, but what, what I know when you think back to that game is how much work we've done since then. Uh, I think we're a much different team now. I think we've improved a lot. I think a lot of guys who did play that day and stuff are guys who also help us now, too. I mean, not, not all of them, but um, there are a number of guys um, from, uh, you know, from the original group that are still around here helping us in some ways. So uh, I think that's just part of uh, the journey that we've had to get to where we're at. You had mentioned, I think, last week that Tevin Coleman might be out four weeks with his knee sprain. Is that still the rough uh, prognosis for him? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, 